Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today is a truly torturous day, as my Monster High Wednesday doll has finally arrived in the mail. That's right, I originally was not going to get the Monster High Wednesday doll, I was just gonna get en Enid and that was it, but my fiance was like, no, you need them both, and he took it upon himself to go on to the Walmart Wednesday on Wednesday when they were released and ordered me the Wednesday doll. She was supposed to arrive the same day, but they delayed it and she arrived today on Friday. So we're going to go ahead and open the box. So it was shipped in a Walmart box and inside was the shipper box. And I was really afraid that they were going to mess it up and send me Enid, but thank God they didn't. But let's go ahead and open it and make sure she's good because I have seen where there is some lip chip lip smear all over the box. And I'm a little worried because while that sounds like you could easily paint that and it's an easy fix, I don't have a steady hand. So I don't know if I would be able to fix that. So let's open up. Oh, goodness. Got it. All right. Um, let's see. Just oh, she's upside down. Okay, how does she look? Does she look good? I can't see her. You probably can't either because the ring light was all in the way. Her lips are beautiful. So here she is in the box. The box pretty much looks like Enid's. The only thing that's different is the window because you're supposed to put the two of them together and it makes like their window from the dorm room. One thing that I will say like that I like about this box is usually I'm the type of person I like designs on the box, but this is plain and it is plain in a nice way. Like it's very clean. Like the LUV fashion dolls, their boxes are so big. And for what? And they, they just look empty. This, while plain, doesn't look empty. It looks like clean in a way. If that makes any sense? Probably not. On this side, we have Monster High X Wednesday. On this side, we have Wednesday. And this is what the back of the box looked like. And I will read it. It says, the private thoughts of Wednesday Adams. Keep out or risk dismemberment. All accomplished novel. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my voice there. All right, let's try that again. <clears throat> All accomplished novelists keep journals, so I'm starting one to record my most macrobe and morbid observations. Today was particularly uneventful. Instead of the typical near-death experiences and homicidal monster encounters, I was blackmailed into doing manicures with Enid and Thing. Thankfully, I already own nail polish and a chilling shade of charcoal. It complements my black soul quite nicely. Turns out roommate and appendage quality time isn't synonymous with my numbing misery after all. Mm, love it. All right, let's get her unboxed and take a closer look at her. Okay, Wednesday is out of the box. Look at Enid back there looking all cute. But before we take a look at Wednesday, let's take a look at the accessories that she comes with. So these dolls do come with stands. Love that. What is this on my shirt? Lint. Love that. And the base of the stand is actually their window with the skullet in the middle. I didn't realize that when I opened Enid's, but I realize that now looking at this one and I love that. What's it say on the bottom? 2022, 2023. Cool. Here is her bag, her little iconic bag from the show. So we have a little skull in the middle with two spider webs, some buckles, and the straps move. Like, I noticed that they, like, kind of move so you can make it easier, I guess, to do whatever. And there's a little button, little notch, whatever, and it does open. And you, you, could, you could place something in there you wanted to. I actually really like this. 
And we have Thing. She comes with Thing, which I absolutely love that she comes with Thing because she's got to come with Thing. And love it. Love it. I think he's an entirely new hand mold. I'm not positive. But I like it. He's got some stitch work on him and everything. So love that. That is everything she comes with. So let's take a closer look at Wednesday. Her face is gorgeous. And I think she looks a lot like Jenna Ortega. So I love that they did that. I love the freckles. Her makeup. We have like a smoky type of eyeshadow going on beautiful brown eyes and they also have spider webs in them to kind of match Enid's this dark lip like burgundy dark red lips something it is beautiful and unfortunately a lot of people have been getting dolls where I guess the doll has been placed in the box before the lip has truly dried and it has smeared on the inside of the box and also chipped the lips so I'm really happy that mine is not like that. So we do have her little curtain bangs going on, which I love with these little tendrils that hang down. They are gelled, which I'm okay with when you gel bangs because that way they stay where they're supposed to stay. And then she does have her iconic braids in. They have a little bit of product in them, especially the ends, but it's okay. And we have an entirely new hand mold. It is her doing the snap. Because, you know, like the song and the show kind of thing. Yeah, so I wasn't too sure how I felt about her hands being in this mold. But I actually like it. And her nails are painted black. So that is pretty cool that we got some painted nails and let's move on to her outfit so around her entire outfit she is wearing this black belt that has the logo on it for the academy i think it's an academy boarding school that she goes to what is it called like nevermore i think i don't know i don't remember but it does come off it is removable boop just like that and she is wearing, now this was pinned. This little jacket was pinned to her dress and the dress was pinned inside the box. So naturally we're gonna have holes. Don't you just love that when toy companies do that? When are we gonna move away from that? Because it's getting a little old. But she has the striped uniform jacket on over her outfit. It would have been nice to have the emblem on here somewhere but it's fine underneath this jacket which is removable it is a separate piece she has on the little tank top that is supposed to look like a long sleeve undershirt for the uniform we have a pleather black tie attached to it and then she has her skirts and the skirt is attached to this but it is like a stretchy black type of material now in the show I believe the skirt is also striped. So I'm noticing that they did a little bit of changing up with the doll's outfits from what they wore in the show. Like uh, that sweater that Enid is wearing. She didn't wear that with that plaid skirt. She wore it with a different type of skirt. I put her in a yellow skirt because I don't know. I just thought it was pretty. But yeah. And moving on to her socks. So we do have these black sheer socks. They have uh, spiderweb patterns all over them with a skullette. And if I can get her shoe off, they are actual socks. We have actual socks that go all the way down and cover the feetsies. That should be a norm, Mattel. Okay. This should be a normal thing if we're going to do socks. They should cover the feet, not stop at the ankles. Like, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't want to hear that it's too hard for kids to put them on and that it's going to rip. Rainbow High does it. You used to do it. Why can't you? Anyways, moving on to her boots. We have a pair of black, chunky platform boots. 
and one heel is a cello because she plays the cello and the other heel is her scorpion i forgot the scorpion's name but let me tell you when she told us the story about her scorpion in the show i got a little teary-eyed over a scorpion it was it was a little sad a little, a little sad i got a little teary-eyed over a freaking scorpion anyways that is basically it for her outfit now this whole entire piece is held by velcro and as far as articulation goes we do have articulation in the neck we have articulation in the shoulder the elbow why can't i ever find the elbow articulation with long sleeves on monster high elbow articulation wrist articulation we have hip and we have knee so all the basic articulation that g1 monster high dolls have we have no ankle we have no chest and she is on the big sis no she is not on the big sister body no 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 she is on your standard g1 monster high body so she is smaller than the big sister and taller than the little sister i just gotta see something real quick so i have an extra uh core refresh draculaura hat i just i just gotta see i, I gotta see how it looks love it love that oh yeah we're going with that anyways let me know what you guys think of the monster high wednesday jaws do you like them what don't you like about them i will say the price is a little expensive 40 dollars for each doll but i think it has to do with the licensing i'm not too positive because you know they got to license it through netflix and mgm so i think think that's where the pricing comes in i'm not too positive no i will not be getting the raven wednesday because i'm sorry 60 some dollars for what a stiff sheer dress no thank you i can find a black dress on amazon and and put her in it and i'm good like i said i wasn't even originally going to get this one because i have the uh wednesday's collector doll but my fiance is like, no, no, you need them both. They go together. He's not typically like that. He's usually like $40 for that. No. What do you need it for? I know you collect dolls and stuff and I support your hobbies, but no. But he was like, no, you and LA are both big Wednesday fans. So I'm going to get it for you. And he did. And I appreciate that he got it for me. And I love her. And I now have, an, a, you know, they just love them so much love them so much i am super excited for season two anyways now i'm rambling but i want to hear your opinions on these guys which one is your favorite did you get the raven wednesday dress i mean if you did that's totally cool for you i just didn't see any sense to it she's pretty don't get me wrong but anyways yeah let me know what you guys think all that kind of stuff don't forget to like comment and subscribe as it helps this channel and it helps me out and i hope to see you in the next video love you bye